welcome back to my channel my returning viewers my subscribers and those that just passed by come across stumble across my videos i want to say you are most welcome and for those that leave me a comment in the comment section you are also welcome i appreciate every comment whether it's a criticism or it's something lovely for me i appreciate everything and you know i respond to that also so you are free to leave me your comment in the comment section i want to say welcome once again to my channel i have an interesting topic and you know my channel is all about being informed inspired and motivated simply by boino my name is boino and this is my channel you are most welcome so today we are going to talk about Africa coast. The country Africa coast is an African country and I usually talk about Liberia and Liberia and Africa coast, they have bordered on the West. Okay, but today we are going to delve into Africa coast. We are going to learn and know a little about this beautiful and wonderful country called Africa coast. It's also called La Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire. French people call it La Côte d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire, yeah. Sometimes when you check in on a map, you might not see Africa. So you check in a list of countries, you might not see Africa. You might see Cote d'Ivoire. It's the same as Africa. So let's learn about this beautiful country. Let's get some informative information about this beautiful country. Not wasting much of your time, guys. Let's get straight into our topic. Africa is bordered by Mali and Burkina Faso on the north, and then we have Guinea and Liberia on the west. Then we have Ghana to the east, the Gulf of Guinea is to the south. And this African coast country, it has two capitals. We're going to talk about the capital city of Africa. Coast. Why will a country have two capital city? So let's find out. One of the capital city is in Yamisoklo, and the other capital city is in Apijem. The one that is in Yamisoklo is mainly the administrative capital. That's what they call them, the political and the administrative capital. Yeah. It's also a city. They also have Abidjan, which is also the capital city. And Abidjan is larger than Yamisoklo. And Abidjan is the economic capital. They call that other capital city the economic capital. So they have the administrative capital and then they have the economic capital. Abidjan previously used to be the capital city for Africa, and it was the capital city since 1933 it was only in the 1980s it was later changed or transferred to Yamisoklo which which now is the political capital being that Abidjan was once a capital city it still holds some political building some political uh things are still carried on there it still has embassies it still have political offices there but it's not the political capital it had been and so with those buildings still there they still use it for some of those purposes. okay so we're going to talk a, a little about this capital city we're going to give a little history about this capital city. When we talk about the Yami Soklo, this era Yami Soklo, it had been inhabited since the ancient days. It did not start to gain its name or its uh, inhabitants when it, when, when it was now transferred as political capital. It had been there since the ancient time. When the French people began to colonize the area, it was when they encountered this small indigenous settlement. And it used to be called Anosoglo or Gogoro. Then we moved to Apigen. The site of this city, Apigen, it was usually a fishing village inhabited by the Afghan people. And this Apigen, it was colonized by the French in 1898. And it was officially designated as a town in 1903. And this town, it was so important, it was significant due to its economic uh, rise. During that time when it was a fish fishing village, there was a nearby place by that Abidjan that was called Bingoville, which was the French capital in the 1900s. 
when the French people was ruling Africa, that was their capital, the Bingoville. At that time, Abidjan was in the capital. Abidjan was just an economic place, place, place that business and things was transacted swiftly. And this Bingoville, it replaced Grand Bessin, which was the capital city. And like I said, when they moved the capital city to Yami Sokro, it was the fourth time that Africa has changed its capital city within 100 years. So the first capital city was Grand Bassem. And then it later became Bingerville. From Bingerville before it came to Apigen. From Apigen before it went to Yami Sokro. So Yami Sokro was the fourth change of the capital city of Africa. Apigen became the capital city of Africa in 1933. And that was the third time that the country changed its capital. From Gambensen to Bingerville, now Apigen, and then Yami Soklo was the fourth. It remained its capital until Africa got its independence before it got transferred to Yami Soklo. So when Africa got its independence, and then the president that was in power, he decided to transfer it to Yami Soklo, his hometown. This is just a brief story that I'm, I I want to give you guys concerning Africa. It's a country in West Africa. It's not blush, but it's very beautiful, and is it is it, it's a fast growing country, and it's I would say Africa is well developed. It is developed, yeah. Africa is developed than Liberia is developed, and. They have this, there are two capital city, Abidjan, which is the economic capital, and Yamisoklo, which is the political capital. But Abidjan still holds some political buildings and some political offices, and also some uh, embassies are still there because it used to be the capital. And Africa is closer to Liberia. We have we have bordering countries, bordering bordering villages and things. It's easy to leave from Africa to come to Liberia, likewise the same. So Africa is our is Liberia neighboring country, has Guinea, has Ghana, it's on the east, and we have Mali and Burkina Faso and also the, the Gulf of Guinea. So this is just few this is just a little fact, a little information that I'm giving you guys today about the country Africa. I hope I make sense today, guys. For those of my viewers that are from Africa, you are free to leave me your comment in the comment section and tell me more about your country Africa. <laughs> And so that's all I have for you today, guys. We're going to go more and more into the country Africa. So watch out for my next video as we delve into Africa more and more. For today, I stop right here. So I'll see you guys there. I'll see you on my next video. Have a good day. I love you guys. Bye bye.